Hello once again, and welcome back to Domination with Mac, Marla, and Christopher. <laughs> Marla has already gone on her war attack, five starring uh, for the cleanup, so that's in a separate video. Stay in your bed. And that brief interruption was brought to you by the number two. The number two. <laughs> um, so we're in war here, trying to get another perfect one in a row. Uh, we've got 122 stars with 46 out of 50 attacks. Uh, Wonder Nisha, they have really come Wonder through. Wonder Nisha. Wonder Nisha, yeah. uh, very active. Uh, they seem to have it really together. Matt the Devil. So, but some strange attacking stuff going on. So, like their number one only got 83% four stars on Matt the Devil. And that's a global, right? Must have a very good base. I think no. it would appear to me that these guys are just a little bit under, like not very refined or uh, anticipating things in the town center is what I would have to say. Uh, well, I mean, it's difficult. Especially when we got howitzers. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> um, yeah, certainly a cannon's a lot easier to deal with or an artillery. Absolutely. But I think as you get more used to them, you get better at dealing with them. I think so. That's nine. That's 20. That's close enough. Okay, so the plan, as I understand it anyways, is that Kobe is actually going to go on Clown Cloud. He seemed to have done all right, though. Uh, I realize that he's our 18, but he's going to have to go up and hopefully he can pull it off. I, I really hope so. He's a fairly new gentleman. I'm going to have to clean up after Felix, at number five. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to be difficult to get the quick victory on, but not... Certainly not impossible, but no. oh look at that! Oh yeah. There we go. So that's yes. so he's got the forbidden city that's hiding up here. His fort's exposed. Um, he's got double bunkers. This one is very well fortified with the uh, double anti-tank guns. There's another one down there. Um, it should be, I think it's more than possible. I'm going to, I'm picking my drop point right from up here. Yeah. So my drop point's going to be right here in order to actually nail that Forbidden City right off. Or, um, and as well, the Acropolis, I would like to get rid of some of these. I might even be dropping a Blitzkrieg right away in order to burn through some of these buildings. Um. I think that's probably going to be my best bet in order to give me that head start. Um, my first rally, I've got to be honest, I think my first rally is probably, I'm hoping it's going to be in here, but I think my first rally, based on my drop point of here, my first rally might in fact have to be a forced rally there, in which case I'll have to be dropping some sabotage, you know, in and around there and possibly there. Yeah. Um, again, I've got I've got enough riflemen and whatnot that I'll just I'll handle those when they pop out. Yeah. As much as I like handling them before they even pop out with my artillery, I think it's probably the best bet. It, it's nice when you can do that. However, it's also nice to know that you can mow through them as well. Yes. Yes. So that's the plan. If anything. If anything's going to stop me from handling those, I'll have to drop the sabotage there. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to take that, to be honest with you, because it's not really well fortified. If I, if I get a sabotage there, I should be able to steal this, no problem, as long as I've already got my sabotage on there. Because if I take that over, it's right in range, and I'm going to end up having to deal with a howitzer or something in there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, 14 had howitzers, I think. Howitzers. Yeah. So I'd be anticipating that in that town center. Okay. Um, you need 
with your generals. I do. I'd like to get my generals up a little bit more. Um, well, if you want to catch everybody, um, that is generally a good way to. Uh, uh, planes, planes. If you didn't notice, I've got oh, I've got close to eighty thousand. Okay. Um, so I'm doing all right there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I've got my MK3, 23 riflemen, two ta heavy tanks, three supply trucks, uh, seven artillery, two heavy Gatling gunners. My mercenaries, I've got jeans and khakis coming along for the ride. Um, I've got Jerry, the brother Heshan, joining us. I've got three sabotage or protect, uh, betrayal, and my blitzkrieg. Um, my sabotage is actually upgraded now, so it's good for, I think, 18 seconds. Maybe even be 19 seconds. So that's nice. I'm happy to happy to know that. Husband, wife, couple joining us again. Uh, we've got Joan and Napoleon. Alliance troops. I've got eleven Black Watch. No, Righteous Riflemen. Their range is actually five. There's a visual bug that shows four there, but it's actually not four. It's it is five. Uh, and I've got an extra artillery, so that should help me mow through those fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. um, let's see how we can get on. Breathe deep. Breathe deep. Okay, yeah, fine. I think so. We're gonna go like. I think. I want Elaine first. I want my rifleman in there first. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, they did pop out. Yeah, I should have sabotaged that a little bit sooner. That's okay, I think. Your general's going to take them? So. Nope, nope. Your general died on them. <laughs> oh. There. I hate having to force target like that, but I think that was my best bet. Okay, no more heavy tanks popping out of there. This is a very together uh, alliance. They really do have it going on, and I've got eight seconds left before I can actually get all my artillery out to reorganize. And they're dying. They're dying quickly. I am not happy about that. Come on, you guys, really? Planes down. Why would you guys not? Well, I guess there's no place. How did they even get in there then? I don't think we're going to be able to get through this, to be honest with you. And down my supply trucks. Mm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Mm. If I had my planes, if I had more than one plane, I think I'd be all right. Those howitzers really did a number on me. Yeah. Sadly. And if I had my supply trucks, I'd even I'd be a little bit more satisfied with that, too. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. See, and they, they really do have it together, don't they? That wasn't a very good rally, either. So that's not, not helping my situation. No. Yeah, if I if I would have prevented those howitzers from popping out, I think I would have had more of a chance. <laughs> those MK1s are so slow. 
I think I'm going to get close to the same as Felix, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Close to the same. Not quite the same, but close to the same. And 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Nope. Those howitzers, those howitzers that got out that uh, absolutely just decimated my troops. No, oh, I'm not mm -hmm. sure I'd have to watch the replay to be sure. Um, certainly, I don't think that helps. <laughs> huh. um, having to force target that town center, I don't think that helped either. No. I mean, I was a far cry away from where I needed to be, I think. Yeah. Um, certainly. Maybe a different drop point would have been better. No, I think the drop point was spot on. Yeah. Yeah. I botched it. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm not coming home with anything. <laughs> Surprise! But it is what it is. Yep. We are... I think we're we're in, in it to win it though. I think we're in fairly good shape. I don't think these guys are going to be able to. How many attacks do they have left? A unicorn. <clears throat> a cornwall. I'm wow. Uh, let's jump right to the top here. So they have five attacks left, um, but they've got stars on. There's two stars available on Joey. I think that's really what's going to do them in. Two on DeButcher. And DeButcher has a solid base. One on the Village. One on Matt the Devil. One on Plunder. One on Saul. One on Duncan. Clan McLeod. He's got a solid base okay, too. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. And they don't have. They don't have enough. Like they can't get those. The that two yeah. on Joey. They can't get. Yeah. Sorry. So, I think they're a little bit too far behind. I thought we were going to try and do a head to head tonight with um, Ed. With Ed, uh, Eminent Domain. However, I, they indicated that they're not really ready. Yeah. And that too many people that are opted out are not available for war. And complemented mm -hmm. with that, my concern with lining up with Ed is that we have two globals. Yeah, and they don't have any right now. Yeah, there's no globals on the top end for them. So. That puts the, puts us it puts the it's an unfair advantage, right? Yeah. Um, if we were yeah. going to do it, I would honestly maybe, maybe after this event they might have some globals. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe I'll convince Ambria that he needs to actually upgrade to global. Yeah. But it's hard to say, isn't it? Yeah. Um. All right. Does your thorn smell? I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Keep your sticks on the ice and... Have a good time.